Hello everyone and welcome to my The Bold and the Beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Monday, August 26, 2024. Luna constructs a cage, Finn bemoans his circumstances to Ridge, and Katie backs Bill on The Bold and the Beautiful today. Luna constructs a cage around Steffi at Poppy's former apartment, where she takes a drug and begins to wake up. She glances at the rotating cordless screwdriver with sleepy eyes. Her eyes close once again. Luna fastens a padlock firmly. Rich is furious with Brooke in Forrester's main office over Hope kissing Finn. Brooke yells that she will not do it again since she understands it was wrong. Rich yells at Taylor about how angry she was at Hope's actions. When Finn shows up, he tells her that she wasn't alone. Steffi is left since she is so angry about it. Rich queries the meaning of it. Finn claims she has left the area. Rich laments, look, look what Hope did, to Brooke. She can't just kiss him, Finn yells. He never anticipated it. He was listening to Danny Romilotti one moment and then Hope's lips were on his the next. That is the extent of her lack of regard for his marriage. He goes on to say that it's uncomfortable not knowing where your spouse is. Finn promises Rich that he will always be honest with his daughter, but he regrets having to disclose the kiss to her. He becomes enraged, saying he ought to have followed his wife's advice and avoided Hope. Although Brooke argues that Hope isn't like this, she won't accept her explanations. Finn claims he didn't give her any conflicting messages. He's worried now about his wife, where she is, and if she's okay. Bill is finishing up a phone call as Katie enters his home. She claims to have been informed that you'd no longer have a daughter. She says that RJ informed her. Bill is happy that Luna can speak with him, he says, and not just any daughter, expressing how much he enjoyed being a father. Luna, Katie is aware of his struggles with this. His only concern is Luna, who has lost everything. He's resolved to support her. Katie observes that Luna will most likely have to visit her mother in jail if Poppy's allegations turn out to be true. They argue on Poppy's guilt. There is no one else that Katie can think of. She observes that Bill is using the past tense while discussing Poppy. Does that imply that she is no longer in your life? Bill is still trying to process and hasn't made any decisions. Katie believes Will need to be aware that he is no longer related to her. Bill gripes that Luna ought to have had a sibling to lean on. In this whole thing, she is the victim. Steffi attempts to open her eyes and speak as she hears the sound of the cordless screwdriver inside the flat. She can't sleep, but she sees Luna. Luna keeps an eye on her while she works on the cage. After some time, Steffi manages to sit down and murmurs, Luna, I'm not sure where I am. What took place? Luna looks at her while pacing back and forth. Bill and Katie continue talking about how Luna's life is falling apart at his house. In particular, if her mother is put on trial, Bill wants her to know that he is there for her. According to Katie, the question is when, not if. Luna will need to deal with that. Bill assured her that for as long as she needs it, his house is her home. As Katie notes, that is unsustainable. She's hoping Luna understands that. Bill claims she's in need of help right now. He's certain that RJ also gives it to her. Katie says that RJ informed her that Luna expressed her want to be there with Bill. She genuinely cares for you. Bill sees Luna planting a kiss on him. After dealing with the Sheila situation, Fitton tells Ridge in the main office that Hope kissing him was the last straw for Steffi. And then the same thing happens with Hope, he said, giving in to his attraction and allowing Shyla to approach too closely. He gave her a friendly shoulder and allowed her into his brain. It transformed into something else, Hope. For this reason, Steffi cautioned him to avoid them. Brooke is aware of their concerns that Hope was becoming more like her mother. Finn wishes he had given her advice. He consistently places himself in circumstances that erode his wife's confidence in him. Ridge dismisses his worries. 
He anticipates her return once she has a time to herself. Finn doesn't enjoy not being there for Steffi when she needs him, even though he knows she can take care of herself. It dawns on Steffi that she is in a cage in the apartment. Luna gets all worked up over how hard it was to fit it in there. Steffi complains of a pounding headache. She understands that Luna used the iced tea to sedate her. Why? Why am I confined? How are you treating me? Luna smirks and shakes her head no as she begins to scream and demand to be let outside. Katie stops over Bill's house to see if she can help him in any way. Bill claims that simply being present and demonstrating her concern for him, she is already doing it. Katie tells him that they are related. She is Bill's angel of protection, and he is grateful. It feels as though something was taken out from under me. Although his family adores him, Katie claims it was. Your sons look up to you so much, he asks. And you? Bill. And me, says Katie, grinning. They give hugs. Finn limits at the main office that he has no idea where Steffi has gone. Rich is certain that it will just take a few days. Finn hopes she understands that none of this was his desire. Because he loved his wife and family, he chose not to kiss Hope back. He want her return. Ridge, I adore your daughter. I need to know that she's okay wherever she is because I miss her. Steffi yells inside the cage. Luna, what the heck do you think you're doing? How are you doing? She recollects arriving there to confront her after witnessing her kissing Bill. Luna informs her that what she did was wrong. Steffi yells, does she really think she just let her get away with this? Bill is the grandpa of her daughter. Bill is the only person in the world, Luna cries, who truly understands her. Bill is with her mom, Steffi yells. Not for long, Luna shrugs. Not when she's found guilty by a jury. Steffi understands she wants Bill all to herself and her mother gone. She is the reason Tom and Hollis are deceased. This is not something you will get away with. So far, I've gotten away with it, snaps Luna. Yes, I did succeed. It was me. You aren't telling anyone that I killed both Hollis and my absentee father, Tom. Steffi wails for assistance. It's do or die for troubled, bold, and beautiful heroine, Steffi, the week of August 26. She wakes up on Monday to discover that her life is in jeopardy after being drugged by Luna. Damn that delicious iced tea. The kiss that Steffi had seen between Luna and Bill had already left her completely stunned. She's dating RJ, and he's dating her mother. Steffi replied, attempting to make sense of the stranger in front of her. I don't know who this is. Luna remarked, you must think I'm such a nutjob. And if Steffi didn't explicitly say as much, we were prepared to do so by the time she passed out from the iced tea. After all, who has knockout drugs on hand all the time? Steffi's condition deteriorates further on Monday, August 26, when she awakens in a cage. Who, once more, just so happens to have one of those on hand, Spoilers indicate that a murderer has something to confess a day later. At this point, could that be anybody other than Luna? Finn notices right away that something is wrong, but it's not the right thing. He is all about putting the blame on himself for Steffi's departure following Kissgate, which was the event in which Hope surprised him by giving him a kiss. Steffi, no one's damsel in distress tries her hand at self-rescue on Wednesday, August 28. However, it doesn't seem to be going as well as she or we had hoped. She is weak and starving by Friday, August 30, and she is hoping that Finn finds her before it's too late. She and our one and only hope. The clue Finn finds that same day at the Spencer estate. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.